Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And before I start this video about Wilhelm Keitel, I just want to thank you all for hitting the subscribe button. We recently surpassed a thousand subscriber mark. Really happy about that. Big thank you. Please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Wilhelm Bodewin Johann Gustav Keitel was born on September 22nd, 1882, as son of Karl Keitel and Apollonia Wiesering. After he finished school in 1901, he initially wanted to become a farmer like his father. But since Karl Keitel wasn't ready to hand over his fields yet, Wilhelm Keitel joined the Prussian army and served in the horse artillery. In 1902, he was promoted to the rank of lieutenant. Before he was promoted again in 1910, he married Lisa Fontane in 1909, with whom he had six children. Right at the beginning of World War I, he was wounded by grenade splinters. When he returned to the front, he was promoted to the rank of captain and led an artillery battery. In 1914, he got to know then Major Werner von Blomberg, who should later become the Minister of the Reichswehr. In early 1915, Wilhelm Keitel was transferred into general staff without the usually required training. In World War I, Wilhelm Keitel served on both the Eastern and the Western Front. In the interwar period, Wilhelm Keitel stayed in the Reichswehr and taught tactics at the Cavalry School in Hanover. In 1929, he was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel and served in the Ministry of the Reichswehr. Wilhelm Keitel was described as disciplined and very hardworking, even so hard that it went on the cost of his health, which led to him being out of the country to restore his health while the Nazis rose to power in 1933. When Keitel first met Adolf Hitler, he was very impressed from the beginning and sympathized with his ideas. After his father's death in May 1934, Wilhelm Keitel wished to retire from the military to fulfill his wish of becoming a farmer and take over the family lands. His wife, who didn't want to be a farmer's wife, and a promotion to the rank of lieutenant general made him change his mind though. With his new rank, he was ordered to build the 22nd Infantry Division in October 1934. And he was promoted again in 1935 as the commander of the Ministry of the Reichswehr. When he was named as commander of the High Command of the Wehrmacht in 1938, the Reichswehr was renamed into Wehrmacht in 1935, he was holding the rank of General of the Artillery. Within this reorganization, Hitler took over command of the Wehrmacht and Wilhelm Keitel became his direct subordinate. During this time, he began working with Alfred Jodl, whom my next video will be about. Wilhelm Keitel's responsibilities were the availability of soldiers, weaponry, espionage, and to look after both prisoners of war and wounded. During the Second World War, Wilhelm Keitel was involved in all important um, military decisions, but didn't bring in any initiative for a change of strategy or whatsoever. Keitel became simply a yes man to Adolf Hitler and saw his job as defending his orders and pushing them through. And in July 1940, he was promoted to the rank of Field Marshal. After the summer offense, in 1942, against the Soviet Union didn't lead to the desired success. The German dictator was furious and Wilhelm Keitel feared to be held responsible for the failures and was afraid to be dismissed. In an effort to save his skin, Wilhelm Keitel tried to present Ad Alfred Jodl as the responsible for the operation's outcome and question his loyalty towards Adolf Hitler. As a result, the Führer was to replace Alfred Jodl with Friedrich Paulus, whom I spoke about in another video, as soon as he had conquered Stalingrad. Wilhelm Keitel remained in his position until the end of the war. And in the night of May 8, 1945, 
Wilhelm Keitel signed the unconditional surrender in the Soviet headquarters in Berlin, Karlshorst. Wilhelm Keitel was arrested on May 13, 1945 in Flensburg. And during the Nuremberg war trials, Keitel was tried and convicted. Keitel was sentenced to death and he was hung on October 16, 1946.